Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So earlier this month, I've been browsing YouTube and I saw this campaign going on by the Coalition for Asian Pacific in Entertainment, which is Cape USA, and they're an organization, a nonprofit organization based out in Los Angeles. And they kind of provide mentorship for Asian American actors and performers. And I've heard of them sort of like briefly, maybe a year or two ago. And I didn't really look into them that much until I saw their campaign last month. And you should check the description links down below. They made a series of sort of funny skits with a lot of Asian American actors and documentaries kind of describing um, how they got into the business or what kind of advice that they would give to younger Asian American actors or any actors for the matter of fact because I feel like they're hmm, I feel like they're an organization that doesn't only care about like well, they do care about Asian American actors in general, but they do want to advocate for those who are fighting for representation in Hollywood. And oftentimes, um, Asian American actors, we are the most underrepresented in American mainstream television. And so uh, they have this I am campaign going on, hashtag I am campaign, and it's sort of calling other people to tell their stories and I figure I'll tell my own. So right around about three years ago, which is when I graduated, oh my god, it's almost three years. <laughs> uh, I was pretty much lost in what I really wanted to do in life. Well, in college I was a student leader and I was a part of many different Asian American organizations and through that I gained a lot of leadership skills and I really wanted to apply those skills to the real world, so I worked slash volunteered for a lot of different nonprofits. And finally, an opportunity for a politician, um, namely Congresswoman Nidia Velasquez, came. And as a, a person who kind of studied social justice and all that, I was really hesitant in getting into politics because you never really know what you're gonna get. Either the politician can be like, ooh, awesome, 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 or it can be a little wonky. And she turns out to be the most progressive person in the House of Congress. So I was so blessed to be able to work for her. And I think while I was working with her, ooh, garbage truck. Okay, and this moment is brought to you by the garbage truck. So as I was working for her, I would travel from Chinatown to the Lower East Side. There wasn't a closer subway station to the work, which is in Alphabet City. So during that long walk to work, I constantly thought about what I wanted to do with my life and if this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And I think about two or three months into the job, I realized how much I still wanted to get into entertainment, which is what I've always dreamt of. I grew up watching TVB and I always wanted to be in front of the camera and I've never told anyone this before and I guess you'll see in my solo show if you do come and catch it. Uh, I auditioned for art school slash acting school when I was still in high school hoping to study acting in college but I unfortunately didn't have enough preparation to get in and I didn't really think about it and not until the senior uh, year of my college I wrote a paper on Asian Americans in entertainment and also kind of wrote a play that kind of describes the Asian American college experience that I kind of have this like thing in the back burner thinking that I still really much want to do entertainment and so it wasn't until I tried out many different things uh, in the working world that I kind of found myself wanting to pursue entertainment and that's exactly what I'm doing now I mean it's a really hard journey just because I am based in New York and I kind of don't know who to turn to like I don't have a mentor and so I'm just figuring out a lot of things by myself 
And even though it's kind of hard, I kind of love that because it, without the struggle or without this journey, I wouldn't be hungry for it. I feel like it wouldn't be as easy or, I mean, it is not easy and it's a process. And at first I thought, oh, hey, I'm gonna like get some headshots, find an agent. And as it turns out, it, it's really about the craft and really getting it down and once you get the craft down then you can start putting yourself out there which is sort of what I'm trying to do now so yeah there is a lot of hopes and dreams and it's my second year doing it I don't know what's gonna happen but I feel like it's gonna be a rocky journey and I'll just have to enjoy the ride so thank you so much Cape for providing this campaign and platform for other Asian Americans to tell their story. And what is your I am story? Share it and hashtag I am. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video which is soon. And this time it's going to be a monologue because I'm seeing an agent on Monday. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hasta luego!